Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to batch edit photos in Lightroom. Theme tune. <laughs> okay, I'm always a little bit silly today. People like my dance, other people hate my dance. I'm gonna keep doing the dance. So if you hate it, like you can tell me, but I'm gonna keep going. So just comment if you do or don't, who cares? So today I have a question that came in from Lacey Wilson, I believe is your name, asking me to do a tutorial on batch editing in Lightroom. Now essentially what is batch editing? That is you have a series of say, a thousand photographs, maybe you shot a wedding or a portrait session, or say you have a hundred photographs, and you make an edit or a correction on one, say the exposure, because you got the exposure a little high on them all, or maybe it is the white balance, or maybe you want to add a vignette, but to every single image. Now you can click through and add it to each one, or you make the edit to one, and then you sync that across every single other image, and it just does it in one click. And that is how Lightroom is amazing. And not only that, you can do entire presets. So you can have loads of edits made on an image and just duplicate it across in one click. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so you can do it in many different ways from different areas. So I'm gonna show you each area quickly how to do it. So the first way to do it is on import. So if you go file, Okay, oh, sorry, I'm in QuickTime. If you go, so we're here in Lightroom, and we go File, Import Photos and Videos, or you could press Import down here. So you click Import, and what we're going to do is I have got them all ready. So we've got this folder here with some photographs that I took from the amazing dancer and model, Rebecca Lyons. And essentially, I'm just gonna add them to, to the catalog. So. Over here, what I can do is apply during import and I can have a develop setting and that will batch edit all of these. So if I click one of these, I've got all of these presets which are available. So to show this, watch this, all of these are in color. We can see they're all in color. So I'm gonna to go to just a very basic, um, I don't know, orange filter, but it's black and white is what I'm adding, okay? So I can add metadata to this and everything. So in fact, let's do that because I did a tutorial on this, photos in color, and then I hit import. Now watch this, as all of these images get imported, here they are, they've all been brought in, and when I go over to develop, watch this. All of these images, as I scroll through, see it's taking a moment to do it, but every single one, I'm not pressing anything. But all of these images, as they're coming into Lightroom, are all been converted into black and white with that setting. So you can see that's all been done. It takes a while for the previews to appear. Okay, but every time you go into an image, we watch what happens. Any that we've already looked at, they've now been turned black and white. So if you give this a couple of minutes, it's gonna go through and turn everything black and white because that was the batch edit that we put on. So let's quickly, we're gonna to go to develop and we're gonna reset these images. So we're gonna hit reset. Okay, so this is reset this one image, but every single other image is now the same. So what I can do here, okay, is if I was to select all of these images, so I just hit command A, okay, it's important whichever image that you are looking at here in the screen, that is the effect which is gonna pass on to all of the other. That's what's important in batch editing, whichever one you're looking at. And all we do is we hit sync. Now by hitting sync, it's gonna bring up synchronize settings and I can select which settings I want to synchronize. So if I just hit check all, Okay, because I've, I've basically set everything to zero, when I hit synchronize, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see all of these images return to their original format. So if we watch, we click on this, it was black and white, remember? It's now gonna convert it into exactly how it was and now we can see at the bottom, all of these images are now color. So that's how we batch edit. However, let's dig a little deeper into this because we can do a lot of things with this batch edit. And I'm gonna show you some powerful areas to this. So for example, let's make a edit on this which is really obvious so that we can see this. So we're gonna come into this and we're gonna give it this, um, sorry, I don't like using my Wacom tablet for the tone curve. 
So I'm going to make, make it kind of gray. So we can see this, it's gone very gray. And I'm going to bring the vibrance up and I'm going to, you know, let's do a really quick edit on this actually. So I've made it go gray, I've done all of this and I'm going to change that back wall color. That's how we're going to see what we do. So we're going to make it bright green, okay? So now this has gone bright green. But also what I want to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add, and now I, this isn't how I would edit this, but just so that you can see what I'm going to do, is around the model, okay, I'm going to throw in this kind of a really strong vignette over her face, okay? Now, this is a terrible edit for the picture, but it demonstrates what happens here, okay? So let's come back out of this tool. Now, if I was to hit select all of these and then sync, okay? And if I sync everything, watch what happens. It's gonna make all of those edits, but for example, if I go on to, uh, so this image, because looks great, as does this image, because she's in the same place, but put her somewhere else, and now the image is all messed up because that, that um, radio filter they put in is in the wrong place, and look at it over here, it looks terrible. So if I just, you know, undo what I just did there, so let me just step back, and then watch this. If I now go sync, so everything's selected, I'm gonna hit sync, I'm gonna leave it as everything, but I'm gonna turn off local adjustments. So the, anything that I did with the brush, graduated filters or radio filters, they're gonna be left out. Now often you'll want to also remove the crop element. And you can turn on and off anything. But now watch what happens when I hit synchronize. Now I can go to any of these images and it's changed the color of the wall, but what it hasn't done is it hasn't added that vignette. See, it's on this image, but it's not on any of the other images. But it has changed that color scheme, so it's only syncing certain settings. And that in Lightroom is massively powerful when you're editing images. So how else might this be used? Well, let's come back to the library and I'm gonna give you one final example of how I would use this. Okay, so let's come into this folder here and I'm going to, for example, I know that I did this dramatic edit here on this image, okay? Now, let me come back to this image just here and I'm going to reset this image, okay? Reset this image. So now when I come back and look at this dramatic image, it looks really fantastic. But I want to apply that to this other image that I have, which is really what I want to do. But there's a few things in this one, like for example, when I come in here and I look at this, I've added like a bit of a sun going on. I've actually added in things like, um, I forget where it is, I think it's under the brush. I've added like these sun beams coming out. Now, those aren't gonna work for all of my images, okay? And I know that's under the brush module, so that's not, a, not, not gonna be a problem. All I have to do is find the two images that I want to sync. I can't find my other one now, so I want to sync this one, and I want to sync it, here it is, with this one, okay? Now, what I can't do, if I look at this one and sync, it's gonna delete all the edits that I did on this one, so instead, I make sure this one's in the viewer, I hit sync, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep my local adjust adjustments on, because I want the graduated filter and the radio filter on, I just don't want the brush. And I'll have the crop, because I don't think I crop. And then when I hit synchronize, what it's gonna do is it's now gonna apply all of those settings to this image in one click. And there was massive amounts of work that went into this image. And now this one also looks amazing. So that's how you batch edit in Lightroom. You just sync all of your images and then you make changes or you select, you turn items on and off for a selective sync. Now, I hope this helped you. And if you did like the video, give me a thumbs up and definitely drop me a comment below and subscribe. Why not? It doesn't cost anything, it's free. So this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Great.